If you don't know about this place, if you don't know about this in Turkey, you are missing out. Good morning guys from the beautiful city of Fethiye. We are going on another beautiful adventure here today. And once again, we are leaving Fethiye. We're doing a day trip. The place we're going to is a place known as Saklaket National Park. It's supposed to be one of the deepest canyon gorges in the world. And I'm super excited because, wow, the, the photos, the videos I've seen have just been so, so beautiful. So I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to take you guys along with me in this journey. Let's go explore Saklaket National Park. I owe you guys a huge update. So here's what happened. Back in Fethiye at the bus stop, I kept asking around and the bus to Saklikent just never showed up. So instead of waiting around for like another couple hours, I decided to take a taxi. And turns out taxis from Fethiye to Saklikent are extremely affordable. I got one for 200 liras round trip. So that to me is a very, very, worthwhile deal but we've now made it to Saklaket. This place looks stunning and we're gonna go buy an entrance ticket. Hello. Uh one one ticket? One ticket. We've just bought our ticket and we've entered the canyon and I mean look at that view. That is just a astounding to me. That is so impressive. And there's literally nobody here. I have the entire place to myself. Wow, this is... Wow, this is just so, so magnificent. have just walked past that huge waterfall which okay it doesn't look huge but trying to cross it is extremely difficult but uh this canyon literally everywhere i look i want to take a photo it is so stunningly beautiful i mean you've got the sun peeking through behind the cliffs the water is ice cold by the way it is literally my feet are frozen because of how cold that water is but wow, the ambiance, the environment here, it is literally stunning. If you don't know about this place, if you don't know about this in Turkey, you are missing out. And I'm saying that only like a couple minutes in. Now, if you've noticed, we've switched out the flip-flops for some of these water shoes. And the reason is because I've heard that if you're going to Saklaket, you definitely need these shoes. They sell them right here for 20 liras, which is a bit pricey, but you have to get them. There's no way you're gonna be able to cross this canyon without these. I mean, just crossing that waterfall alone, if I didn't have these shoes, I have no idea how many times I would have fallen. So just be prepared, get those shoes so that you don't struggle for the rest of the canyon. It's hard to believe this, but we've been walking in the canyon for almost two hours. It feels so short, but I mean, this, this view right here, it doesn't get much better than that. That is honestly some of the best views 
I think I've ever seen. The canyon itself is really, really long. I think it's like 12 kilometers, but the accessible part is only four kilometers. And I don't think we've even walked four kilometers yet. So we still got quite some ways to go. Usually there's a lot more water, but we're currently in the dry season here in Turkey. So you can tell the water level is much lower than it's supposed to be. Um, but other than that, the water is super, super cold and it's super, super clear. I am just impressed by how clear, how fresh the water is. It's really, really impressive. Yeah, this is just beautiful. One of my favorite days here in Turkey. We've made it to the very end of the canyon. It's just a waterfall at the very end. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, I am gonna hide under this cave because just now, a bunch of rocks just fell from the very top of the canyon. This has been just one of the most beautiful walks I've ever seen, one of the most beautiful canyons. Walking in about two hours, so maybe it'll take maybe an hour to leave the place, but uh, I'll see you guys when we leave the canyon. Definitely come to this place early because as I was leaving, wow, the crowds came and I'm talking like huge 100, 200 people crowds. It's huge in there. It's so many people all stuck in there. If you want to have the place to yourself, you've got to come early because yeah, the place just sells out so, so quickly. Everybody's just going in all the time. So definitely go early or else you're going to be fighting for space in there. Just about a 20 minute car ride later, we've left Saklakent and we've come to this ancient ruin, literally just on top of the mountainside, right here in Turkey. This is the ancient town of Tlos. come to Tlos, one of the first things that the guide will take you to is a place known as the Acropolis. It is located right on the very top of the mountain and this place used to be the head, the center seat of government. This is where all the major decisions were being made. This is like the capital, the, the most important part of the city. Now it was fortified multiple times due to invasions and they built more walls and more walls and you can see the layers of defenses that they had in the past to protect the most important part of the city. But it's amazing that it's still standing today and there's a Turkish flag on the very top but wow the view over the mountains is just spectacular man if this was the office that you had to work at every day if you had to work at the central government here at this building you'd have quite the view every day <laughs> It seems like there's still a lot to see here in Talos and the next place in Talos we've come to see is the ancient city basilica and you can tell it was gorgeous I mean you can see the bottoms of the pillars you can just imagine if this entire place was still here today if it still existed you can imagine the dome at the end of the basilica you can imagine the benches people would be sitting there during service Wow, I mean, it's quite well preserved, I have to say, compared to even Ephesus. Like, this is really, really well preserved. Right behind me here is the ancient theater of Tolos. It's one of the most well preserved. It's got three levels, but uh, like most of the buildings here, it's cordoned off. You can't go inside. But you can tell, like, most of the stairs, they're all collapsing and everything. But that is the last stop here in Tolos. I will see you guys when we're back in Fethiye. Welcome back to Fethiye. We have made it back to the city center, back to the hotel. Let's talk about the day. Sakalkent is 
one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. It is really, really magnificent. The cliff sides, the canyon, the water is so cold and it's so clear. It's a must-see in my opinion. If you are here in Fethi, if you're in Turkey, you have to go see Sakloket. Talos was okay, it was a ruin, but a lot of the places were all closed off, so there wasn't much that you could really go and explore. But Sakloket, that is truly one of the best sites I have ever seen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially for those who are going to Fethiye and are planning a trip to Saklakent. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye from Fethiye.